Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is of course Elliot Webber, we're here with Dad as well in the car. Yo! Um, and obviously we're not in my bedroom because that means it's another trackside episode in 2024 and today on 29th of June I think um, we are going back to Brands Hatch for like the third or fourth time this year already um, for of course um, the Super Touring Car Power event uh, or Super Touring Car Power 2 because it's the second year obviously we went there last year please go check out that first vlog if you haven't already from a year ago um, and yeah so dad are you looking forward to today i am yeah I did, last year was absolutely epic um obviously the sound of these cars is just something else um so yeah if, you, if you've not been you need to go <laughs> Yeah, um, of course, some legends of BTCC are going to be there again, um, a modern legend. Some might say Jake Hill will be racing again in the Nissan Primera. Anthony Reid again is going to be racing. Um, Steve Soper is going to be racing, even though he's like 80. Um, legends like Patrick Watts are going to be back there again. Steve Ryder from ITV is going to be there. Um, and also, of course, the 1999 BTCC champion Laurent Aiello is going to be there as well. So... Yeah, it's going to be an awesome day. We're actually on our way to pick up Grumpy because Grumpy's coming for the first time this year. Um, so yeah, so let's skip to whenever I s decide to skip to something. Cheeky co-op stop. Cheese, what are you getting? Uh, that ham and cheese and Lucas said fun. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can probably see and hear, we are here at Brands Hatch for the Super Touring Car Power event. Uh, very excited already. The Thunder Saloon cars have just been out for their qualifying session. Uh, I'm not going to film too much. I'm only going to film the Super Tours and the demo run that's going to be happening later today. Um, as I mentioned, a ton of stars are going to be here. Jake Hill's here, Steve Soper's racing, Anthony Reid, um, Laurent Aiello's here, Rob Huff is here, Ray Mallet, of course, with the RML group is here as well. So it is going to be such a good day today as it was last year very excited but yeah as i mentioned only going to be doing the super touring cars and the demo run today so yeah but still going to be exciting so uh yeah very exciting as i keep mentioning so um yeah it's going to be quite hard for me but i will cut forward to the super touring car power session to be uh be at its Jake Hill. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the Super Touring Car qualifying session. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little um, videos I took of them coming down the, the Grand Prix straight. That was brilliant. I enjoyed that so much. These cars sound amazing, look amazing, are amazing. Yeah, just brilliant stuff. A big congratulations to Jake Hill. He took pole in for the first Super Touring Car race. Only pole by a mere 2.8 seconds ahead of uh, Steve Soper. So, you know... Uh, the modern and the, the classic seemingly merging together. So Jake Hill and Steve Soper on the front row for race two. Um, the DC5 uh, Halford Honda Integra being driven by, I believe his name is Danny Harrison, but of course that is Dan Eves' old DC5 Integra, the one where he took three out three at Thruxton. So yeah, so many historic drivers, so many historic cars here. It's been unreal so far already. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not too sure when I'm going to walk about, but I'm definitely going to walk about, definitely going to obviously see the uh, see some of the cars that are on display, see, hopefully see some drivers who are, who are lurking about. I know John Cleland is here, Laurent Aiello is here, um, uh, and obviously Rob Huff is here as well um, in celebration of 40 years of RML. So, yeah, I'm going to catch Dad and Grumpy catch dad and grumpy in a bit ask them about what they thought of these cars because of course it's the second time we've seen them um in a space of a year because of course we were here last year as well so yeah let's grab uh, dad for a quick chat so dad thoughts on seeing the super tours again yeah it's good yeah thoughts on qualifying take kill pole by 2.8 seconds is there anything he can't drive fast <laughs> it's just oh this is just unbelievable aren't they Thoughts on Steve Steve Soper joining him in the front row as well. So. Oh man, doing good. <laughs> oh, it's a lack of Hondas though. Well, it's no accord. 
there's, there's a Civic and there's, yeah. and there's an Integra, yeah. which I've already mentioned. There's no Accord though, no Super Tour Accord. A shame. I don't know why they're not here, but yeah. yeah. There was meant to be an Accord here from 97, but it's not on track for some reason, so. Yet. Yet, of course. Hopefully and the Mazda was... didn't come out either. Yes, of course, the Mazda have been driven by James, James, James Kellett. Yes, so. so, yeah, no, it's really good. It's just, I haven't taken any pictures. I've just sat here in the heat, just watching. Just not, just, just listening. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, really is good. Yeah. Childhood memories. Exactly, you're feeling young again for once. Uh, yeah, for once, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, So, yeah, as I mentioned, I'm not, I don't know when I'm going to walk around, but I'm going to walk around at some point, catch the display cars and whatnot. So, yeah, I'll cut to whatever I cut to next.
this weekend, everybody, and talking to some of the stars and making the most of it when we get the opportunity. Anthony, great to have you here at Super Touring Power 2. I have to take a run up to that sound of the It did later on, didn't it?
people there's music in the background but um yeah for you guys it's already the end of the first super touring car race it was unfortunately red flags due to that massive crash between steve soper and richard wheeler which you would have already seen by now um <laughs> at time of recording it's already got about 600 views so yeah i uh, thank thanks everyone who's watched it and shared it but dad first of all thoughts on the day so far oh it's been absolutely epic um unfortunate accident no one likes to see that especially with these cars i'd but just like to point out that both steve and richard are both okay their cars aren't they will not be racing in race two but they are both thankfully okay um, yeah oh, <laughs> just the um it's unfortunate but they are race cars at the end of the day and they're doing what they need to be done racing yeah. so they're not museum pieces they're race cars so yeah, yeah. it's gone quiet now yeah. So they Eerily, round. yeah. Um, Grumps, thoughts on your day so far? I like the old ones, the minis, and the old... The pre-66s he's been enjoying. Yeah, I remember those cars. <laughs> it went in black and white especially. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was in colour though. I'm not used to watching it in colour. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, big thanks to everyone who's watched this video so far. Of course, I'm going to film race two, um, and it's starting already. So, yeah, let's quickly skip to race two.
ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the day pretty much for us. The end of race two, once again, it was taken by Jake Hill. No real surprise, but he had a good dicey battle with Jason Hughes in the Vauxhall Vectra, uh, and also Danny Harrison in the DC5 Honda Integra, the Halfords car, or Danny's, his car from 2005, as we get uh, this lovely um, catering car. Uh, Dad, thoughts on the day? Huh? Sorry? Thoughts on the day? Oh, no, yeah. Uh, I'll just, uh, just show you the, the t shirt. Oh, yeah, that t shirt. My BTC blue blueprints. Yeah. yeah, I'll move that away, though. <laughs> uh, BTC blueprints. Speak to Mark, top bloke. Wicked. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mr. Yeah, yeah, shout out to blueprints. Um, so, yeah, pretty good day, as I mentioned earlier. Very unfortunate with that crash, of course. As you would have seen, Steve Soap and Rich Wheeler did not race in the second race. Massive unfortunate for them, especially because it's two legendary cars that have been smashed up. Um, but very glad to see that they're both okay. That's the main thing here. Um, but yeah, another brilliant day, another brilliant event up being produced by Brian Hatch. Hopefully we get to see this again next year for Super Touring Car Power 3. Um, and some more cars. Yeah, with hopefully some more cars. There weren't as many cars this, this year as there were in 2023. But yeah, if yeah, there are 24 hours. Yeah, because it's also the spa. Yeah, yeah, it's also the spa 24 hours. But um, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. If you're new around here, be sure to like this video, share with your mates, because of course does help my channel grow. Of course. Big thanks as well, I forgot to mention, big thanks to John Cleland for showing up on the YouTube channel. Another dream come true. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.